dear friends today is the eighth day of divine mercy novena here we are asked to pray for the souls in purgatory as the first man in the paradise it is the sin made us thrown out of the presence of god jesus the second adam reopened the gate of eternal paradise and through his blood he made possible to dine with the father but there is one condition that jesus put forward blessed are the pure in heart for they will see god to see god who is the ultimate happiness of the human soul it should be pure because the holiness without which no one will see the lord and who will purify us it is the lord himself will purify us how in the book of asia god says see i have refined you but not like silver i have tested you in the furnace of adversity for my own sake for my own sake i do it we are ransomed in the precious blood of jesus christ like that of a lamb without defect or blemish only through by taking part in the sufferings of jesus christ the soul will get purified this purification will not end with our death it will continue till the soul meets its god and enter into the eternal banquet with him but the difference is as the life of earth is temporal the suffering so earth will be temporary as well since through the gate of death one is entering into eternity the suffering of soul also will be eternal my dear friends today on the eighth day of our novena we are specially praying for all the souls in purgatory to have the mercy of god on them first of all what is purgatory the catechism of the catholic church teaches all who die in god's grace and friendship but still imperfectly purified are indeed assured of their eternal salvation but after death they undergo purification so as to achieve the holiness necessary to enjoy the joy of heaven this is the final purification of the elect yes it is a purification purification through the suffering of soul this purification is necessary because as scripture teaches nothing unclean will enter the presence of god in heaven and while we may die with our mortal sins forgiven there can still be many impurities in us especially venial sins and the temporal punishment due to sins already forgiven it is entirely correct to say that christ accomplished all our salvation for us on the cross but that it does not settle the question of how this redemption is applied to us scripture reveals that it is applied to us over the course of time through among other things the process of sanctification through which the christian is made holy sanctification involves sufferings and purgatory is the final stage of sanctification then what is our duty some asks why do we pray for them the dead is dead they are far away from us beyond our reach dear brethren every day we confess that i believe in the holy catholic church the communion of saints so on we know that we the church is the communion of churches 
that of the churches militant, penitent and triumphant. We are mystically united with them in Jesus Christ. As a faithful who receives blessings from the saints, then we are obliged to pray for them and help them through our own sufferings, prayers and almsgiving. They can't help themselves with prayer or deeds. They can cry only for the mercy of God. We have to pray for them, especially in Holy Eucharist. The church definitely te teaches that to help and commemorate the souls in purgatory. If Job's sons were purified by their father's sacrifice, why would we doubt that our offerings for the dead bring them some consolation? Let us not hesitate to help those who have died and to offer our prayers for them. Moreover, one day we may also in need of prayer. Let us pray. Most merciful Jesus, you yourself have said that you desire mercy. So I bring into the abode of your most compassionate heart the souls in purgatory. Souls who are very dear to you and yet who must make retribution to your justice. May the streams of blood and water which gush forth from your heart put out of the flames of purgatory that there too the power of your mercy may be celebrated. Eternal Father, turn your merciful gaze upon the soul's sufferings in purgatory who are enfolded in the most compassionate heart of Jesus. I beg you, by the sorrowful passion of Jesus, your son, and all the bitterness with which his most sacred soul was flooded, manifest your mercy to the souls who are under your just scrutiny. Look upon them in no other way but only through the wounds of Jesus, your dearly beloved son. For we firmly believe that there is no limit to your goodness and compassion. Amen. Let us recite the chaplet of divine mercy. We praise you, Son. We praise you, Spirit. All three in one. Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world 
and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God. The Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. He will come in to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and all the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. World. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, most sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your daily beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, 
soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole world for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion have mercy on us and at the whole World. For the sake of Jesus, our of passion, have mercy on us and at the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, our of passion, have mercy on us and at the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, our of passion, have mercy on us and at the whole world. For the sake of Jesus, our of passion, have mercy on us and at the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one Have mercy on us and on the whole world holy god holy mighty one holy mortal one have mercy on us and on the whole world let us prepare ourselves for the final blessing Guru 